men or women, you know, we've we've all had a relationship in our late teens or early twenties where you you meet someone, you fall wildly in love. It's incredibly kind of uh, passionate, and there's a, there's a you know, I guess a typical love hate relationship. You know, you feel in, you feel one minute like you're madly in love, the next minute you can't stand each other. You feel manipulated, you feel confused. In this case, that that relationship re-enters Matt's life at a time where he's kind of vulnerable and susceptible. Against his better judgment, against his will, he's grateful to be with someone who knows knows about him, who knows who he is. Who, who he doesn't have to hide from, he doesn't have to pretend to be someone he's not. Paradoxically, Matt is able to be completely himself with both Karen and Electra. With Karen, he is he's exactly the kind of man he's been trying to be his whole life. He's getting closer to the kind of person that he really wants to live for the rest of his life. He's someone who believes in the law, he believes in order, he's a kind, he, he, he engages in a kindness and a, and a, and a, a good, healthy, fun attitude towards his friends and fellows and love and all those kind of things. And he has a really good time. And I think that's, in, I think Karen is his soulmate in those regards. The big problem with Karen is she doesn't know everything about him. She doesn't know about Daredevil. And while she doesn't know that, how, he, how can he truly be an authentic self? You know what I mean? Until she, he has told her that. Similarly with Elektra, she, he's able to be completely himself in a completely different way. He's able to be daredevil with her, and there's no, she knows that. She has no judgment, so she loves it. The problem with Electra is she believes that there is a darkness in, in him. She believes that there is, she, you know, she encourages him to go further with violence and further with, with criminal activity. If, if, you know, engaging in vigilante justice is criminal. Then, uh, and, and that's not completely who he is either. He doesn't really believe that. He doesn't really want that for himself. And so he's torn, you know, and that's and that's what I, I guess what a great love triangle should be. I think it's a first love, so it's something very strong and special uh, that they both carried all over these years, and that's why when they meet in at this point, it's uh, you can feel straight away the electricity. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You know, we're going to find out. But it's strong. There's something really going on between them. It doesn't mean that it's any less dark for poor little Theon. When we get the scripts, they're kind of like bulletproof, they're kind of ready to go. There's very few rewrites, there's very few deleted scenes.